Hello, for this lesson I'm going to cover what is IP spoofing. IP spoofing is the process of replacing the source IP address with a fake IP address from the IP packets to hide the real identity of the sender. The source address is the address of the computer that the packet was sent from. So by changing the address in the packet, an attacker can make it appear that the packet was sent by a different computer system. For example, let's take a look at this image right here on the right. Here we have partner who's communicating with victim. Then we have sender who's the attacker. Notice that he IP spoofs the packet and changes the source to the partner and the destination to the victim. So the victim thinks that he's talking with a partner, but actually he's talking to the sender who is the attacker. Notice in his comment, he says, oh, my partner sent me a packet. I'll process this. Again, he's not talking to the partner, he's talking to the sender because the sender spoofed the source IP address of the partner. I hope that makes sense. But if you don't understand it right now, it's okay. I have a demo at the end of this uh, PowerPoint and hopefully that gives you a better understanding of it. You can defend against IP spoofing attacks by using authentication based on key exchange between the machines on your network. Something like IP security also known as IPsec, will significantly cut down on the risk of spoofing. You can use an access control list to deny private IP addresses on your downstream interface. You can implement filtering on both inbound and outbound traffic. You can configure your routers and switches if they support such configurations to reject packets originating from outside your local network that claim to be originating from within. Lastly, you can enable encryption sessions on your router so that trusted hosts that are outside your network can securely communicate with your local hosts. Now then, let me give you a demo on a type of IP spoofing known as non-blind spoofing, in which the attacker resides on the same local area network. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding, again, of IP spoofing. All right, good day. Today we're going to cover IP spoofing. As you already know from my presentation earlier, IP spoofing involves uh, basically an attacker steals the source IP address of the victim and pretends to be a legitimate user. So let me give you a better uh, visual on exactly how that works. So before we begin, uh, I want to talk about TCP handshake because you need to understand how the, TP, the three way uh, handshake works before you can understand the IP spoofing that I'm going to explain. So first off, the sender will send a packet with the sync as in synchronized to the receiver. All right? The receiver is going to receive it and respond back with a packet with the sync and acknowledge. Once the sender receives that, he will send an acknowledgement to the receiver. Once that all happens, they have a connection. And that's what they call a three-way handshake. Now with that, we're going to use that same thing. So over here we have the sender. We have our attacker, and we have our receiver. All right. Uh, also, we have our layer two, which is our MAC address. And we have our layer three, which is our IPv4 address. All right, so what's going to happen is this. The sender is going to send a packet to the receiver along with the sync, as I mentioned earlier. The receiver is going to receive that packet and respond back with a packet along with the sync and acknowledge. However, before the sender can send an acknowledgement to the receiver, the attacker sends it first. He does this by predicting the TCP segment number. All right, so you need to know that inside um, the TCP header, they have a source, and they have the destination address, but they also have a sequence number. Because he's able to predict it, he's able to send the acknowledgement before the source, before the sender. So what happens is this. 
the receiver is going to trust the attacker. It's going to trust that the layer 2, this MAC address or physical address, will ensure that the packet will go to the layer 3, which is the 192.168.1.1 IPv4 address, which belongs to the sender. Again, the attacker has spoofed it. He's pretending to be the sender right now. So then, what's going to happen is communication between attacker and receiver will be ongoing, whereas the sender you will not know. And that's how IP spoofing works. All right, well, I hope that gives you a good understanding of it. Uh, if you have any more questions or want to learn more, follow my link in the instructor's note. All right, thank you.